Hello guys, uh, we are in my bathroom. This is a project that literally took 10 years to build. It started as a concept and I did the shower part of it, which you'll see in a little, part, little later part. And yeah, it's not a huge bathroom. It is mainly for if someone has to go, like this is on my main floor. The bigger bathroom is on the second floor, which is right above this. So it kind of worked out for plumbing wise to have the bathroom right above each other. <coughs> Excuse me. So it started, like I said, it started more than 10 years ago because this has been finished for three. Yeah, three years has been finished. So take you on a little trip on this. This is not going to be anything gigantic, so just hold up. All right, so this bathroom was designed for compact. So if I decide to close the door, you will see that it comes very close. Like three quarters of an inch close to the sink. That was by design. I did that to maximize as much space as I could because this space was originally my kitchen pantry. Right here was the pantry. This in the shower area was the spare room, which I'll show you. And this doorway was not here. I built the doorway. Like I said, this is the kitchen side, so there's nothing finished in the kitchen. This is all just about the bathroom. So, there was a duct right here. Well, let me show you the shower, and then I'll put you back on tripod so I can actually show you what I'm talking. So, I put a light. Love the light. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Here's my shower. There's my shower head. I put it higher than what normally you put it because I hate ducking. I hate ducking for it. So I even put a little shelf. It's a little dirty right now, but I even inset a, a shelf. And how I did that <clears throat> was I took the shelf, I cut slot in for some pennies. I epoxied some pennies into the shelf and then I cut some slots in the tile itself and epoxied the shelf with the pennies into the slot and then grouted and then silicone and it's very strong. All right, we're back on tripod. Uh, for the sake of everything, I'm going to show you what this was. So right here, roughly right here, there was a wall and there was like a decorative knick-knack shelf thing. So this space was useless because the door for the kitchen, well, both entrances, there's one from the hallway and there's one from the dining room. So both, it wasn't impeding on anything. So there's a wall right here, uh, right here, right next to the wall was the ductwork for the bathroom upstairs. So I took that out, I took the wall out, uh, my door for the pantry was right here. And yeah, right here. So, block that off. And my ducts, both for the upstairs and for down here, and my main um, stack for the plumbing is in this bulkhead. So, that's what I did for that. Uh, the shower is standard. It's like a same thing. I put a pan in, a 30 mil pan, probably about a foot and a half up, um, and then did my my uh, my bed, my mortar bed, and then just tiled, tiled, tiled. I got a fan up there, vents outside. That actually works very well, and yeah, everything. It's just a compact, it's nothing comfort. So if you sat on the toilet, so let me, let me see here, yeah. So if you sit on the toilet, 
there's not a lot of room, you know? So you got the roller here, and this is not designed for comfort for someone to sit here and read for hours or whatever. This is for as much space as I can get. So this is compact. This is cup. This is standard size. The walkway through here. So in order to get in the bathroom, you have to actually be right here in order to shut the door. No big deal. The shower is nice and comfortable. The shower is two and a half feet wide by four feet deep. No, four feet long, and is seven feet tall. I think this whole bathroom okay there we go this whole bathroom and this whole lower floor except for the kitchen has nine foot ceilings I didn't really want nine foot ceiling in my bathroom plus it'll help me for when I do the renovation up there which is another I don't want to get into that right now so I decided to drop the ceiling down to an eight foot ceiling which doesn't look doesn't look bad and it's, I can put a lot of stuff up there. So if I need to move some HVAC or something, I can move it and do what I gotta do. So, that's the same thing. So, uh, tile floor, I put a tile base in, which I like to do in case something happens where water comes in and kinda, it doesn't prevent the water, but it helps slow it down. So you have time to clean and do whatever you gotta do. So I'll take it to the spare room where all this started and as I go through the video, there'll be pictures popping up here or here or here or here, wherever, wherever I put them on editing. And it'll show you the progress because I didn't do any video before I started any of this. So this is a project that's already done, but I'll take you through the steps of how I did it. Sort of. Just give you an overview. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'll go to the spare room and we'll go from there. All right, so now we're in where this all started 10 years ago, in the spare room. And this was originally, this room was originally designed for a small bedroom, for say one person. Now it has become my junk room, so to speak. I've got seats in here, a weight bench, and four fans, a punching bag, insulation, just a bunch of crap. So, when I did this room originally, what was right here, so from this wall all the way across, was uh, one of those old, old built-in closets. So all wood, I believe it was mahogany, because that was cheap back then, and it took up a whole bunch of room. So I decided when I did this room, that I would take out this closet, and I'd build this. I'd build a nice, decent sized shower for when I did the bathroom. So this, this project is probably 13 years old. Finished three years ago. And yeah, so I built this wall and did everything I had to do. This was uh, gonna be a closet for the this room. And that's it, that's, it's, this is where it all started, 13 years ago. So I will take you downstairs for some of the plumbing goodies and fun stuff. So let's go downstairs. All right, we're back. And we are in the basement. Don't mind the dryer, doing laundry, gotta do stuff. Okay, so this bath or bathroom, yes. This part was the most difficult part because I had to make sure that my bathroom upstairs was still functioning. So I had to do some clever things to do to make sure that the, all the plumbing was done in one shot. Um, so originally, you can see this, i uh, shoot a picture of what it looked like before because I do have pictures of that. I, I did pictures throughout this whole project, but I didn't do any videos. So that was before I decided to do any of this. So this was cast iron. So if I pan you down somehow, yeah, right there you can see. 
where is it? There it is. Oh, it doesn't do it. Oh, there we go. A little bit more. That is the original, um, the original cast. So this went all the way up. All the way upstairs. Let's bring you back out. No, oh, back, back, back. Okay. Sorry, a little shaky. Okay. So the cast iron went all the way up. So you had the cast going up, and then I had a branch probably around here, and a little lower, probably around here, for the kitchen. So this. This line that's over here that comes in is from the, for the kitchen sink. Um, all this, oh yeah, no, all this was just cast iron. So I had to cut it all out because you, it's hard to merge cast and ABS. You can do it with MJs, but I didn't want a billion MJs, so I just decided I'm going to cut it off a couple feet from the floor, and I'm just going to run new all the way up. And I did. I ran new all the way up until probably about the middle of the second floor because that's when it just turns into a vet. And maybe when I do the bathroom upstairs, I will take the rest of it out and put ABS. That's, that's a possibility in the future. But for now, it is done to about the middle of the second floor. And you can't see any of it, so I'm not going to bother showing it. So, this is for the toilet on the main floor. Uh, sink, and then shower. Two inch line for shower. Um, P traps, the whole nine yards. This was fun to do. I'm being very sarcastic. It was a pain in the ass. I don't know, for everyone that's a plumber out there, God bless you, because I could not do this on a full-time thing. It was uh, a mess. It wasn't bad to cut, because all I did was just zip cut it. I took a zip blade and just zipped it, and then once I got to a certain point, I could move it, and I just kind of, and she cocked and cracked, and that's it. Nice clean cuts, no issues. I've heard some where they just, uh, just destroyed. The pipe itself was very, in very good shape. Very good shape. There was no nothing, there was, the lining was still good, there was no um, excess rust, nothing. The line was awesome, so I can't complain there. And it was pretty clean. Even smell wise, it was pretty clean. And, you know. So, that's where this is at. Um, there's a dedicated line up there for GFI. So, in case somebody wants to blow their hair, they don't have to worry about popping breakers. Uh, don't mind the breaker box uh, over there. That is getting changed this year at some point. There's a few different things that have to happen, but that's my plan. So, I'll keep you updated on that. Like I said, throughout this video, I'll have pictures of the progress of everything. Um, I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, so I'll figure that out in editing. Oh, my furnace just kicked on. So that's my bathroom in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, stick them down. I'd like to hear for everyone that I've done work. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. It's a bathroom, I, I enjoy it. Uh, the showering is very, very comfortable. It's two and a half by four feet is very comfortable to shower in. And that light, I love the light. It is just, ah! And I've done it in a few other bathrooms since then. I put that light in and people love it. Waterproof light, no issues. Cost me I think 40 bucks for the light, big deal. So yeah. Very much fun, very much fun. But it's done. It's done, it looks good, it's very functional. I've had no issues with this bathroom, none. No issues. Um, water lines, I just went to PEX, or Super PEX? Yeah, I think, I think it's Super PEX. And it's, it's like assembly process. You just boom, boom, snip, snip, put a thing in, put a thing on, crimp it, you're done. I don't, I'm not a big fan of copper. I've seen what copper does over time. Um, it's a pain in the ass to solder in really tight spots. 
Pex is easy. I have, I've had no issues with it. It doesn't leak. It doesn't sweat. It, it, water pressure is good. Uh, everything. I even put shutoffs down here for that bathroom. So if anything does happen, I don't have to shut off the entire house. I just come down here and it's quick little two ball valves, hot and cold, shut them off, you're done. Then you can work on it and do whatever you gotta do. Now the whole purpose with that, this bathroom was number one convenience because if you're in the middle of a game or if you're watching something and it's like whoo, you don't have to run all the way upstairs because my stairs, I think I have 14 stairs to run up. And yeah, that's a pain in the butt to do. You can just run around the corner, do your business, run my back. The other thing was I built this one so that when I do the upstairs run, which will be at some point, that I can totally dis destroy it, make it non-functional, and I can use this bathroom. Plus I have a second bathroom, so it's a win-win for me. So that's my bathroom. Uh, I will have more stuff. I will have kitchen at some point. I will have staircase at some point because those are gonna be projects coming up and I just wanna keep everyone filled in and go from there. So have a good one and see you later.